Okay, um, the sun's come out. Um, we're doing some conversion training. What I call conversion training is with young dogs that have not yet um, carried feather. Uh, in, in this case, I've got a pheasant uh, from this morning. Um, and uh, I've just done, used that same pheasant with some, uh, to do the same training with Sanjika Kakola. This is uh, Mistral del Sebastio. So she has not uh, done any, uh, she's not been in the field yet hunting. Uh, well, she's been hunting, but she's not been in uh, many live shooting situations. She's not carried um, feather yet. So I've got uh, my feather in here in the form of a, a pheasant, which is a little bit wet. It's, um, it's gone past the first stages of it's, um, it's firm, it's fairly cool, it's probably not been dead longer than uh, a few hours. Um, I like that because it's still got the scent. It was carried back in my jacket um, from where we found it. I'm going to take her lead off because she's straight away showing interest in the pheasant, that's what I want. And this is a confidence exercise, so if you've been doing retrieving with canvas dummies and uh, the like, Really, you've just got to bear in mind that this isn't really about that strictly. It's really about the dog learning that this is a retrieve item and learning how to carry it in its mouth. Now, some dogs will just pick a, do pick a dummy up straight away. She wants to hold it. So I'm not going to go through a system I did with Cola where I just put it in her mouth. I am going to throw it out for a retrieve straight away. She really wants it. away. I said I want that, I want to keep it. Right, so I've just got to make sure I don't get into any tug of wars with her. So the first thing I'll do, sit, Psst. and she's got to understand that we're not in a chase situation. And I'm just going to throw the bird off over by that tree. I'd say she's probably at a more advanced stage, she's a little bit older than Coca-Cola. So um, not good for the camera, but I'll put my back to the camera. She knows where the bird is. <laughs> now, she's forgotten about the bird. She'll remember in a minute. Just take her out in the direction. There we are. Good oh girl. Fetch it in. Straight away picked it up. Fetch it in. Oh, aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? Aren't you beautiful? I'm keeping it focused on me. She's holding it. Get, 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 get. Good girl. The main thing at the moment is she's not spitting it out. She's not going to let go of that, no matter what I do. Okay, so I want to go on the next stage. With other dogs, I would just say, great, great, that's fantastic. Um, and I wouldn't push it too much, but I want to head to me for a present. Mistral! Psst. Hold it. And I'm just going to gently hold her in position, because she wants to move her head around, probably to hide the bird from me. Just to say to me, I don't want you to have this bird. All I'm doing is I've got my hands underneath the bird, so she can't dip her head, and I'm just making a fuss of her, and this should be pleasant to her. And she's still got the bird, and she's very happy with that. Okay, that's a good girl. She wants to turn her head, I've got my hands both sides of the head. That's good, that's good. Now obviously all good things have got to come to an end, so she has got to learn that all birds will be released to me and I'm just popping my finger into the corner of her mouth, taking the bird with the other hand, dead, dead, because this is a lesson that she's got to learn. She doesn't want to release it, but I can't let her carry on with that. Dead, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no. Now I've got two fingers in each side of her mouth that's stopping it from damaging the bird. Okay, I've got the bird out and my fingers are still in her mouth and she's calmed down and she's realised now that I can have the bird. I obviously want to work on that because I don't want to happen because I don't want her to get into a habit which is gripping the bird up, not releasing because ultimately she won't just grip the bird, potentially she could um, 
damage the bird, which we don't want to do. So I'm just going to let her away from this position. Take some pressure off her. Let her just have a little mooch around. Let her forget the situation that we were just in. And because she's so keen on the bird, and because I want to push on with this little bit of training, I don't think we have to do as much as we did with Cola, because she's taken to it so quickly. Pop the lead on, and I'm going to go straight into a memory, which, bear in mind she forgot where the bird was when I first threw it. Let's just see what her memory is like. This could be a good test of her memory. She seems to like the bird a lot. Good motivation for her to go and get it. So we'll take her for a walk up here. Birds in clear view, she should remember it. Sit. And I'm just going to send her back and see if she's remembered the bird. Back back. Right, so she's remembered the bird. She can see the bird. Shouldn't be too challenging. Get low and call her straight back in. Mistral! Yep! Psst. Just controlling her head again, but tickling her ears, keeping her head to me. We don't want to get into a habit of her turning her head away, keeping the bird. Fingers into the side of the mouth. And dead! Good girl! Good girl! I've taken my finger straight out of her mouth when she's released. I don't want that to become... I just want her not to get into a habit of ripping the bird. Okay, and it is a habit. Um, we know that generally gum dogs, when they're bred, well not generally, they should have soft mouths. They shouldn't damage the game. But you can create that very easily by tug of war games. Okay, and it's the thing is not to get into a tug of war game. Okay, so let's try and do that again once more. She did it very well. See if we can get her to actually come straight back down the centre line of the road rather than go to the edge. Um, that's a slight diversionary... Um, she's thinking about not bringing the bird back to me. That's, that's, that's part of what she's doing there. Can she get away with it? That's what she's thinking. So let's just repeat that same exercise. Here. push my luck a little bit now by putting a bit of distance between me and the dog and that is pushing my luck because, uh, I'm trusting her I'm going to use my techniques to keep her concentration Mistral If I fussed around too much, she could forget what she was doing. And the point of the exercise... Ah! Come here, come here, come here. Beautiful! Beautiful! And you can just about see where you're going, can't you, sweetheart? Okay. Okay. That's it. I'm not getting too much into that. I had a head up, I had it there. If I'd have dived straight in, I could have had the bird there at that point. But that's not really what I'm trying to do today. What I want at the moment is the fact the dog is happy to carry the bird 
she's lovely she's got her head lovely and high she's not dipping down trying to hide it very proud of the fact she's got a bird and I'm not going to get into a, a tug of war or some other negative situation Mistral same time Mistral I am Mistral keeping control of her and she feels that that the boss is here she is still trying to get away from it she's anticipated what's happening next because she's changed the grip on the bird dead dead my fingers are in there so if she bites my fingers you're going to know about it because you'll hear me ah, dead. that's it and that's something we're going to have to work on with her the possessiveness okay it's pure possessiveness she's not coming back with the bird in her mouth crunching it as she comes it's purely the bit where it comes to the delivery where she's going I know what happens next I want to keep hold of the bird I've got to develop strategies to stop her from um, developing that bad uh, trait but it's a puppy at the moment so it's not a problem good girl can't think and get into a situation where she's fighting me for the bird because if she's doing that then there's other things going on in her mind that means that uh, there could be more trouble ahead behaviorally but I'm very happy with that the fact that she went and picked the bird had good positioning on it in her mouth to start with uh, carried it balanced came back into me didn't run off into the bush to, uh, to hide her bird from me and um, when she's come in we've got lots of praise and that's a positive experience for her um, whenever we've had to exert our authority that your voice the voice has changed and she has responded to the authority which uh, is good you can work with that okay that's the end of that one